Well, cod piece and lederhosen, that was a song. Well done, Taylor Swift. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host and international man of melody, Ken Levine. I am a singer and vocal coach here on YouTube. And today we are reacting to Taylor Swift Cardigan. Hey, maybe you are interested in getting some vocal coaching. There's lots of us vocal coaches out here in YouTube land. If you want to work with me, uh, it's easy to do. All I have to do is check out the description below. I will leave a link. So without further ado, put the headphones on. Three, two, a one. So this is the official video. Vintage tea, brand new phone, high heels on, cobbles. Looks like Hagrid's old cabbage. Cabbage. Young, Cottage. Hagrid had an old co cabbage too, apparently. Sequin smile, black lipstick, sensual. She stops singing. It's a magic piano. Harry Potter. Get to the port key. Wait, what did she say there? Hand under my what? What, is, what the hell is this song about? She just arrived in Neverland and started playing a piano covered in moss. Wow, this is incredible. Is this, this is obviously a mixture of like CGI and some massive set somewhere. I had no idea you could shoot a video in lockdown that was this extravagant. This is a really kind of a moody vocal. Not a lot of vocal fireworks coming out of Taylor Swift. It's more sort of emotional. Talking about past loves, I guess. Someone she knew. All right. But I knew you. So heavy on the visual of the cardigan under someone's bed. Uh, the lyrics are kind of cryptic. So if someone knows more about this song in terms of where these lyrics come from, there are mysteries left for us to decipher. You put me on and said I was your Piano solo. That's a cool piano. It's amazing how it plays when it's covered with water. Another portal. Movie magic. Oops. Shouldn't have gone in there. Peter losing Wendy. Peter gets so a lot of Peter Pan images here. Um, so she's Wendy, I guess. And Peter is some lost love. Peter Pan, boy who never grows up. Are we still in Peter Pan Neverland? Because there's like a crocodile in that water. Gads, is she really out in the ocean shooting this? No. That's like all CGI water. No, that can't be. That's ridiculous. Whew. Oh, 
That was a close one. There's a cardigan. It's there. What are the odds? That's a kind of a cool effect at the end of the song. Hearing that in my headphones. Well, cod piece and lederhosen, that was a song. Well done, Taylor Swift. Good job on the new album. I hope you sell millions of copies of them. I know you will. Wait, no one buys copies of albums anymore. Uh, I guess, I hope your thing is streamed many, many times. <laughs> Uh, that was a cool song. It was a great, interesting lyrics, lots of imagery there. Um, yeah, and uh, that thing where she did with the singing, uh, that was really good. Yeah, she's got a nice voice. It's hard to really, you know, talk about people's technique when you know, when you just know the industry standard is to micromanage every syllable. And actually, you know, there's a lot of maturity here that I, I think I was a little bit dismissive dismissive of and and I I shouldn't be because um she's a dynamic artist who has had um you know a career that has lasted the test of time so good for you Taylor Swift and I'm interested to know what you guys think um is this a cool song do you like it uh is this something you're going to be listening to over the summer it doesn't seem like a summertime hit to me it seems more like uh a much more literary song that you would play in the autumn while you're sipping your chai tea and looking pensively out at the falling leaves. So interesting choice for a release now, but maybe we are all a little bit confused and sipping chai tea, uh, looking out at the summer going, what the heck is going on? I'm feeling a little bit at sea and I feel like every time that I'm turning on my computer or the TV, I'm getting mixed messages. It's also very, very confusing. And maybe maybe that's where she's going with in the visuals in this particular music video. Yeah, thanks for making it to the end. If you guys are interested in learning more about your voice and wanting to explore your uh, own musical genius, um, I strongly suggest that you reach out to a competent vocal coach. There's plenty of as vocal coaches out here in YouTube land, and probably in your own community. If you would like to work with me, I will be sure to leave a link in the description below. You can get a hold of me there via my website, kenlevinevocalcoach.com, or at Wizio, or Weezio, or Wizio, or Wheezy Joe, whatever you call it. It's a great platform to connect uh, creators and students and people who are just interested to find out where the the capabilities of the voice with people who know things that would be me i know a little bit about performing i know quite a bit about the voice so find me on wizio and or wizio <laughs> i'm never going to get that name right and uh, yes this has been trending tuesday i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and we will see you next time Downtown bars was all we needed. You just